Charles Stark coming at you from Fuji Q Highlands for SBR. Again, this at the mouth of Mount Fuji here in Japan. Uh, one of the greatest roller coaster uh, parks in the world. If you didn't get a look at it yesterday, I'll give you a look at it today. Absolutely incredible place to come. If you can come by yourself, bring your family. Just a really wonderful roller coaster park. Awesome place to come. But let's talk about some Major League Baseball. Kind of been struggling the last couple days here. Uh, that's just the way it goes sometimes. We're going to get back on track, though, with under the total between the Detroit Tigers and the Chicago White Sox. Looking at the pitcher's ERA, you think over the total is the way to go. But the way it sets up, I like for these teams to keep the damage to a minimum, for the pitchers to keep the damage to a minimum, and uh, for us to stay under this total of 10. Let's break this down. we got Mike Pelfrey getting the start for Detroit. He comes in. 4.95 ERA, 1.76 whip. Tigers hitting 265 as a team. Good offense from the Tigers, but since the break, not so good. They've been averaging under three runs per game since the All-Star break and haven't scored more than four in any of their ball games. So they've been really struggling. They faced James Shields today, who they knocked around a little while ago, but I don't think they're going to be able to do that today, a rejuvenated James Shields. Now, Pelfrey, we have him in a good situation, a bounce-back game situation, and the fact he's on the road where his ERA drops to 3.53, but his bounce-back situations are great. In his last 10 starts, uh, a couple times he allowed six runs, four runs, respectively. But his next game after, he allowed zero runs and one run, respectively. We have that him in that situation today. Last start out, he allowed five uh, against the Royals. So look for him to bounce back today. We got Shields, James Shields, getting the start for the Chicago White Sox. He comes in 5.10 ERA, 1.52 whip. White Sox hitting 250 as a team. Um, you know, not a lot going on with the White Sox offense. They've been slipping a little bit since the break. Not so great as well. They did score six and five, respectively, in Seattle. But still, I think Pelfrey is going to be able to do enough to limit the damage. Now, Shields, completely different pitcher than when he was first acquired by the White Sox when he allowed seven runs, six runs, eight runs in his first three starts. He's been great. His last five, he's allowed uh, nine earned runs total. So look for him to have a good ball game today and uh, really, you know, get some redemption. One of, the, one of the games was the six runs against Detroit. So look for him to get some redemption today. And be backed up by a pretty good White Sox bullpen to keep Detroit down, a struggling Detroit, down to a minimum. So 10 runs, a bit too much. I'm going to back under the total, and that's going to be my MLB pick. I wish you guys luck on all your picks today. Always on the go? Bet365 has one of the top mobile platforms in today's market. Sign up today, and don't let your busy life keep you out of the game. 